We're here today at the 13th Annual Hobby Expo. But this is my first time at the Hobby Show. Just having a great time with it. Uh, it's just been a lot of fun. I'm here with Zachary and I can see that you have one of the most popular areas for the kids today. Thank you. Uh, it's been a lot of work to get here. Uh, I actually the four-time world champion in robot fighting. Okay, now how do you become the world champion in robot fighting? Um, it starts by taking apart a lot of toasters and uh, small electrical devices. Okay, so tell me about this little baby bunny that you're holding. This is a part of Bot Bash. On the weekends, I do a party service for kids where I show up with my arena and five of my fighting robots. And each one has been designed to uh, have its own unique weapon and be durable enough so the kids can just keep fighting them all day. Now, how about adults? Are they ever interested uh, in this? I have done several adult parties, including a group of physicists who had me for a bachelor party. And this is, you have turned your passion into a money-making business, and have you designed each of these yourself? Every single robot, and I tried to give each one its own personality and character. This is Baby Bunny with her serrated bunny ears, Tiger Tank with his swinging mace, the Grim Sweeper, my dustpan with the Reaper Scythe, and the uh, Earhead, my little flipper guy. Amazing, simply amazing. How long have you been doing this? Uh, more than a decade now. I started when I was 14. And now that I'm out of college, this is just what I love to do. I lived here in Petaluma for a little bit. I went to school at the Santa Rosa Junior College, where uh, in the machine tool program is where I learned how to make all of these just right here at the SRJC. And now I live out at Pittsburgh. During the week, I, uh, I program machines that make locks. But at the weekend, I am a robot warrior. It, it's a blast to be here at the Hobby Expo, and I'm really glad that Hobby Town has put this on and has really let everyone come out and shine. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you know, it is wonderful to have such a great event happening today here in Petaluma. Yes, it is. It, it's just great to see the community coming together and just to show off and have fun. <laughs> How would we find you? Do you have a website? You can uh, go to botbashparties.com and that's where I have my entire website with videos of the robots fighting, profiles of everything, and you can uh, contact me from there to get a party. I come out to your house, pizza place, park, wherever you'd like to hold it. I bring my arena and my gear, and we do birthdays. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. So it's BotBashParty.com, and I see you're on Facebook also. That is correct. All right. Please like us. I am here with Vaughn Davis, the man. I'm so thrilled to meet you and tell Thank everybody you. who you are, what you do. Uh, my name is Vaughn Davis. I'm a professional model maker. I run a studio in uh, West Marin. Um, I've worked for uh, Disney for, you know, collectively about 10 years, and then I worked for Industrial Light Magic for 10 years. Done over uh, 30 feature films. Tell us about what's behind us. Uh, this is a uh, this is actually a bunch of models we're using for a show called MoRav, which is a giant robot science fiction show we're actually producing on our own. So we've got a 24 scale giant robot, and then this one here is six scale, and you can see people are about a foot tall on this one. And we use this one for close up shots, and this one for distant shots, and then we also have a full scale set interior of the giant robot that we have. Uh, for shooting actors and things like that. Anything that someone interacts with is life size. Okay. And how did you get into this? How long have you been doing it? Just Yeah, I've been doing it for 25 years. Um, the uh, 
Yeah, it was kind of a tricky path to get in because, um, you know, you have to be really driven and determined to, to be able to do this kind of thing for a living. There's not a lot of direct paths uh, through school and things like that. I mean, you could take architectural design and that'll get you a lot of the skills you need to be a professional model maker. But, you know, there's a lot of things you just have to learn on the field and be really driven to study on your own to learn. Um, and I actually started as a carpenter in San Francisco. And we were remodeling apartments. And so that meant, you know, we'd re a couple hundred windows and not the most exciting work. Um, and I really wanted to work in motion pictures. I was pretty young at the time. And uh, so I would just visit all the scenery companies in San Francisco um, when I was between different contracting projects. And uh, eventually one of the places hired me and I started in the business that way uh, as a set builder. And then I worked for Colossal Pictures for a time doing uh, station IDs and uh, uh, commercials, music videos, just, you know, television shows, lower budget things. Uh, but that was good because got a lot of experience, met a lot of people. And then um, Henry Selleck was uh, one of the directors over there at the time. And uh, he had went to school with Tim Burton. Oh, wow. So when, when Tim Burton needed someone to direct a stop motion show, uh, it was Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm the master of fright and a of light and I'll scare you right out of your pants. Henry Selleck got that position and he brought a lot of us with him and that was my first feature film. And on that film is when I actually got into doing more of the miniatures work because I was a miniature set builder at that point. And, and being there for five years with Disney was really great because um, it was a really great group of people and artists and everyone was very sharing about their knowledge and things like that. So I was able to bounce around and work in different departments while I was there. I became a generalist and that's, that's eventually what led to owning my own company is because I have enough, um, you know, kind of perspectives of how different areas work mm -hmm. within our industry to actually um, oversee all those things. Yeah. So you have a very creative mind to be able to do this. Yeah, very busy mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These shows are uh, really good for kind of showing the community how much creativity there is in the Bay Area, in, in uh, this part of the Bay Area especially. Um, there's a lot of really talented people, a lot of really interesting businesses and, and you know there's video games, there's movies, there's uh, so much culture and, and, and this is kind of, you know, this is the arts, it's a different, different kind of art than say fine art and things like that but this is still a very um, important field to the area and it's, it's a great thing for kids and families and you know uh, people to know that you can explore and to know that there's all these resources too because there's a lot of companies here and a lot of people here showing you know the different materials you can buy and uh, we're right up the street from Hobby Town so everyone can go to Hobby Town afterwards and it's you know hopefully this will inspire people to do more model making and kind of uh, more things that are handmade and get off the computer, get away from the video games, get away from the TV. Yeah. Well, know. it has truthfully inspired me today. I never knew there was anything like this out there, and I think you're incredible. And well, thank you. So it's been a spectacular day here. Great, thanks. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah. This is Lori Fagoni from PCA TV, and I'm glad you joined us today, and I hope you had as much fun as I did.